online church. I welcome you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The next 10 minutes will be the most memorable minutes of your life. I beg you not to come out of that screen in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I want to teach us understanding the power of vision. Understanding the power of vision. What you don't see, you don't attract in your life. It is what you see that you attract in your life. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Genesis chapter 13, verse 14 and 15. After Lot was departed from Abraham, God appeared unto Abraham and he told him, Lift up now your eyes and look eastward and westward, northward and southward. As far as you can see, I will give unto you. It is what you see concerning your future that God delivers in your hands. What you don't see, you cannot attract. What you don't see, you cannot have. The marriage you don't see, the career you don't see, the future you don't see, you cannot attract. I see God opening your eyes supernaturally to see into your future so that whatever that he has in store for you can be realized to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Vision gives speed. Vision gives performance. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 11 and 12, God asked Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah said, I see an almond tree. And God told him, you have seen well. I will ask then my word to perform. I will ask then my word to perform. Vision gives speed to the issues of life. Vision attracts supernatural performance. I see God open your eyes to see that breakthrough coming in your direction. And it will come with speed in the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of God will perform it to the glory of his name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18, where there is no vision, people perish. Where there is no vision, people perish. When you lack vision, you end up in destruction. When you lack vision, you end up in failure. When you lack vision, you end up in confusion. Men of vision are men of impact. How visionary you are commands how impactful you'll be in life. So what is vision? Vision is discovering God's plan and purpose for your life. Vision is having goals, supernatural goals for your future. Vision is running your life against God's purpose and plans for your life. I want to understand that God has a better future for you. I want you to understand that the plans and the purpose of God for your life are good. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of peace. They are not thoughts of evil to give you an expected end. Until you discover God's plan and purpose for your life, you are heading for confusion. Until you discover God's plan and purpose for your life, you are heading for frustrations. This morning, I want to show you nine areas in which you need to have vision for your life, for your life to become a blessing, both to you and to the people around you. I want to give you another nation of Adam. After God had created Adam in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, he put him in the garden of Eden, verse 8. And verse 15, God gave him a mandate. He gave him an assignment of tilling and keeping the ground. And verse 18, God said, it is not good 
for a man to be alone. Nine areas that you need to catch vision for your life so that your life will blossom. Number one, you need to have spiritual vision. You need to have spiritual vision. It is your connectivity to God that determines your destiny. Life begins with God. If you have nothing to do with God, then you have nothing to do with the future. You want your life to open up. You want to realize your greatest destiny in Christ. Number one, have vision to serve God. Have vision to worship God in spirit and in truth. Number two, after God had created Adam, he put him in the garden of Eden. Number two, vision that you should have for your life. You should have a vision for a church that you need to be planted. The church you are connected to determines the breakthrough that you attract in your life. The Bible says that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The church you attend determines your possessions. The church you attend determines your sanctification. The church you attend determines your deliverance. You cannot afford to go to a church that makes you to be called. You cannot afford to go to a church that has no impact in your life. So you have to carry a vision for that church that will deliver you, that will settle your destiny, that will deliver your family to the glory of his name in order for you to be able to realize your glorious future. Number three vision that you need to carry for your life to open up is career vision. After God had made Adam, he put him in the garden of Eden to till it and to keep it. So your career determines your courage in life. When we are talking about career, I'm not talking about the business you do. When we are talking about the career, we are not talking about the work that you do. Career has to do with specialization. Career has to do with certain skills and expertise. You have got to develop certain skills for your life to open up. Remember, life answers according to your expertise, not according to what you do. People buy all people pay money to experts the area that you are expert in the area that you solve people's problems that is the area that you can attract much money concerning your life number four vision that you need to carry is financial vision after god had put adam in the garden of Eden, he told him, till it and keep it. Then you shall eat out of this ground. So you need to have financial vision. Finances determines the well-being of your life. There is no vision that you have that will be fulfilled without having money. So you have got to know how to generate money. You have got to know how to increase money, how to multiply money, how to save money. How to avoid waste in order for your life to open up. You need, number five, to have marital vision. After God had given Adam job to do, after God had given Adam financial vision, then he opened up his eyes to see the future, marital future that he had prepared for him. He said it is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him and help meet. You have got to understand the goodness of your marriage determines the betterness of your life. If you want to be successful in life, it is not enough to have spiritual vision. It is not enough to have financial vision. It is not enough to have career vision. You need to have vision for your marriage. If your marriage is not working, your life will not work as well. So understand that when Adam's marriage crashed, his destiny crashed as it were. Number six vision that you need to carry 
is vision for your family. Vision for your family. Your family defines who you are. Your children, your grandchildren is an extension of your self. So if you want to be remembered, if you want to have transgenerational impact, have vision for your family. Have vision for your children. Have vision for your grandchildren. The Bible says that a good man will leave an inheritance to his children's children. The life that you live to your children determines the impact you will have after you are gone. Another vision that you need to carry for your life to open up is character vision. Character vision. Your character is the one that carries your destiny. Your nature determines your future. Your attitude determines your attitude in life. Who you are determines what you become, who you become. So if you want to have a glorious future, you will work on your character. You will work on your behavior. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Your life speaks according to your character. Work on your character for your future to open up. Another vision that you need to carry as I conclude today is emotional vision. Emotional vision. Your emotions determines your tomorrow. If you carry love, you carry peace, you carry joy, your destiny will open up. Things that corrupt one's destiny is anger, bitterness, sorrow, mourning. These are the things when they are in your life attract devil, attract destruction, attracts calamities. So if you want to enjoy your future, learn to love God, learn to love people, learn to love yourself. It is love that determines your destiny. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God open your eyes to see into your future. And I see God helping you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you wherever you are. Till we meet again. Bye.